Hi guys, welcome to Excited for Coupons. Welcome, my name is Jasmine. I'm so glad you're here. And uh, today I'm gonna talk about something that's very personal to me. It's the reason why I started couponing and I really wanna share this with you guys. I'm always sharing the best deals and how I do my trips and how sometimes my trips are free, but I wanna share something else to what introduced me to that. And I'm gonna talk about four tips, how you could save money uh, this is something that every year we create a different goal and it's always good to have a goal it kind of pushes you to reach something that sometimes it seems kind of impossible or hard but before you know it you are able to reach it and I'm gonna help you give you the tools that you need and everything that worked for us giving you those tips to you I hope all of this makes sense so let's go ahead and talk about it so the four tips are is create a budget pretty easy but it's very hard to do. It's very hard when you are just, you just go ahead, you go to the groceries, you just go ahead and shop. Uh, you don't have a budget and you go ahead and spend the money. And it's something that Dave Ramsey does say a lot. Don't let the money tell you where it's gonna go. You tell the money where it's going to go. This is your money and it doesn't hurt at all because you are not aware where that money is going. But once you create a budget, and when you have a spreadsheet and you see exactly what each cent, each dollar is going to, you're going to realize how much your ex your expenses are on, on, on each category. I hope that, guys, that makes sense. So now what we have to change is our mindset. We are going to tell the money where it's going, and that's the purpose of creating a budget. Number two, create a cash envelope system. This is how you're going to keep track of your cash. And... Um, I, I like to keep track of my cash using a spreadsheet and using an envelope system that I have. I have some envelopes and I put that to the side and that's where I keep track of my cash. Well, that is a cash envelope system. Number three, you're going to sell some items. I'm going to give you some tips of areas that we have been able to sell some items that way we were able to make some cash. Number four, earn extra money. And we're gonna go over that as well. So now that you already know those four tips, let's go into single every single one of them and how that worked out for me and how it has been helpful for us not only to reach that budget of 2,500 in less than two or three months. I'm telling you, we reached that, I think. So this was a spreadsheet that we were going, we were gonna start putting everything. And once you start in January, which I shared this video, guys, I shared different spreadsheets that you could do 2,500 or 5,000 in 52 weeks. So we already had um, every day, week one, just put $25, week two, put $40. And by December 27, you could have reached just 12, uh, $2,500. But what we did was we applied these four steps that I mentioned and we were able to reach this by February 26th. So in two months, uh, just complete two months, we were able to reach this goal with the tips I'm going to talk to you about. Tip number one, create a budget. The first thing that we wanted to tackle was once we put, once we started checking where all of our money was going to, one of the items that was one of the highest expenses besides the mortgage was groceries. Groceries was one of those items that we were just spending easily $550 to $650 a month. The sad thing is that we did not, we couldn't even say that we were even getting name brand stuff in our house but constantly we would go to walmart every week and buy the stuff that we needed for the week and, and we ended up paying, uh, spending 55 60 dollars just every week on walmart then we would go to sam's and in sam's we would go and buy meat and uh anything that was in box like for the shampoo con um racers uh toothpaste um day that we went it was a hundred dollars and you will be like where did we spend a hundred dollars but you're buying in bulk and you're saving money so uh it was very eye-opening for us to see that a month we were spending 550 dollars to 650 dollars a month and in a year that is six thousand six hundred dollars or seven thousand eight hundred uh, a year so what we did was we said we need to cut this in half so the first time when we started creating a budget we created a budget we set aside which is when it comes in the cash envelope system we said we're going to apply that cash envelope that we learned from dave ramsey 
and we created a cash envelope for groceries and that was a uh, that was five hundred dollars we realized that once we started couponing we didn't need five hundred dollars a month in fact what we did was we we set aside about two hundred and seventy five dollars to three hundred and fifty dollars a month so now you will see that from six thousand six hundred we cut our groceries a budget half so instead of sixty six uh, 6,600 now it was 3,300 so now that's the difference of $3,300 a year and so, I'm just giving you an example of my household and how it, it was maybe for your households maybe a little bit less maybe maybe it's a little bit more uh, so it has been helpful to be couponing and when we started we have not stopped you don't have to go to the extreme and you don't have to have a stockpile just enough to cut those groceries in half so that's the first thing that we cut we created a budget for the second thing we created a budget for was for light uh, that means the electricity the electric bill we didn't realize how much we were spending extra so for the light we were spending a hundred and twenty dollars to a hundred and thirty five dollars a month that equals to fourteen one thousand four hundred and forty dollars or one thousand six hundred and twenty dollars a year we cut that in half to eighty dollars up to a hundred dollars a month and the reason why i'm putting eighty to a hundred because in the winter i live in florida in the winter we don't use the AC as much um, because sometimes it is cooler. So our bill, now we were able to bring it down to $80, sometimes a little bit less. And in the summertime, our bill could go from 90 to 100 um, uh, a month. So that's the reason why I put that range in there. So now, um, not I can't say in half, but bring it down a big time. And we did some stuff to uh, cut that if you want to see more about that i also did a post about that in details how we were able to cut our expense and guys we uh item that we created a budget for but in this in this case we eliminated was cable cable putting it nicely could go from 45 dollars to 65 dollars a month that's how much we were paying and we cut our cable we found some different ways. Uh, luckily, my husband works in IT and he was able to find different ways for us to cut cable. And that was something that we did, did talk with our family about because, you know, we had the cable, we had a cable box. That means that was an extra expense there. That's why I was saying we were paying about easily six, $65 a month. And right now there's other options. You could just sign up to Hulu or you could sign up to Netflix, which is only like could be seven to $14 or $15 a month so from $65 to just $20 a month or less you guys will be saving so much money but we eliminated cable completely so that means that from either $540 a year to $780 a year that was an expense we cut we cut so guys we are saving ourselves and I'm not gonna say $45 a month because it wasn't it was $65 a month uh, so we saved we are we have been saving $780 and ever since we cut our cable we have not gone back and so i really sometimes you don't think this is a great tip but you will see how much you're able to save and you could apply that amount for either a cash uh, a new cash envelope or for to pay off your debt so let's talk about so tip number two and tip number two is create a cash envelope system and this is how we have our cash envelope system like i mentioned i have a spreadsheet um i have a link below if you guys want to purchase that it has the spreadsheet and it also has the envelopes that you could go ahead and print them you could print them in black and white or you could just print them in color and it's easy to put together so here we have a cash envelope and i like to put sometimes tabs on the top and let's say one cash envelope is gift this is something we created later on because uh, sometimes parties, birthdays will come up unexpected. And what we did was we created a folder for it. So every month we will put maybe $20, whatever we could. And when we needed to, to get that money, we already had that in the envelope. In the back part, it tells you the category. You could just type it there and then you could just keep track how much you have for that envelope that is has the category in blank and you could just go ahead and type and write what you want and this one is car expense and this is a must-have as you know 
this is not something that it might happen it's more like when it's going to happen as you know you will have to change the tires you we don't want to be surprised we want to be prepared so we created an envelope that is called car uh, car expense and every month i like to put some amount in there so when the time comes we have that money ready to go and i will take out the money that was there so i needed to make sure that it stretched because i wasn't going to take out more money out of my bank account so that's how i was paying for a long time cash now what i do we just pay with the credit card and i have my spreadsheet and i have my goal and if i see that i'm too close i try to stretch as much as i could and then um and then whatever was left we will use that for the following month i hope guys that makes sense and that was tip number two create a cash envelope system and it has been very helpful this will help you keep track of your cash and it, one way that we like to be organized is using a spreadsheet i know exactly what is on each envelope and everything else is inside the envelope if you guys want to do it that way number three sell items this is key and this is helpful a lot of the times we're like i don't know what we're gonna sell i don't know who's gonna buy it but you never know one thing we did we started selling our stockpile recently uh, it's not something that we like to do before years all we did was give it away we give it away in churches to other people um, people that we know we have gave bags to homeless that we see so for many years that's what we did but this year we have tried to sell stockpile pretty cheap we have so many items in there for like twenty dollars twenty five dollars depending how big it is sometimes we have so many items it could be 35 40 dollars and we have been able to sell some items that is from our stockpile the second thing that we do to make extra cash to sell items sell all items what we started doing was because we moved um we knew that we have too many furniture so we started selling some of the stuff uh even computers monitors and we have been able to sell a lot of items i like that just so go ahead those are the stuff we start selling so sell all the items look around in the house you go ahead and post it put a good price and sell it another thing that we do is sell subscription uh, items like boxy uh, charm and i get boxy charm the base box boxy lux premium and inside i have different items like this month we got the kylie skin cleanser this is like 25 dollars i think what I do is a lot of those items from everything that I've been receiving in different boxes, I sell them. And some things I do keep, some things I don't, and I sell them. And I have been able to make $45, $50, sometimes in one or two items alone. Uh, yeah, we sold something recently for $47 for one item. And that pays for the box. That pays for more th of the box because they usually cost $25 or $35 unless you get the $50 box that happens every three months and we make money we have been making money it is harder to sell some stuff we have to be patient and know that some people don't want it so we have been able to make money by selling subscription items so that's tip number three sell items now this is the tips that maybe you guys are interested about the most but i feel like everything works together if you sell items but you don't tell your money where it goes you gonna wonder what happened to that item that i just sold what happened to that money if you don't create a budget you're not telling where your money needs to go your money's still telling you where it's going you just got some money but you didn't uh plan ahead to reach the goal and the goal is to reach those two thousand five hundred dollars so let's go to tip number four earn extra money earn extra cash and these are tips that have been very helpful for us um, earn bank bonuses we have received and i mentioned this in a different blog that i have it's excited for journey and how we have been able to travel for free or at least our travel tickets have been free and we have been able to go to places like um, Greece, Santorini. Uh, we have gone to Rome a few times. We have gone to Venice a few times as well. And all those plane tickets were free. We went to Amsterdam, uh, Ireland. Um, so all those have been free so these tips we applied for that website which i'm going to give you the link if you guys are interested how you guys could earn bank bonuses and we opened a few banks and we just follow the guidelines it's very easy they do have it by different um different uh states 
just follow the guidelines you need to make sure that there is a direct deposit of certain amount for for three months i think it is and then after that you guys could close the bank account if you want we left it open for six months sometimes a year we really like the bank then we close it and then we move on to another bank bonus and we have earned 200 300 dollars i've never had a problem with that and that money we put on our vacation envelope uh so when we have gone overseas the the the, the next tip for tip number four which is earn extra money number two is side hustle this is key this has helped us have extra cash also and we i did a video about mystery shopper the seven top mystery shopper that we use and you could easily get in a month 50 to 80 dollars and some mystery shoppers could be in places you're already shopping it could be at walmart it could be Publix. it could i don't know it could be wherever you're at depending on the mystery shopper app that you use and if you guys are interested i did a video about that i'm going to share it on this section another tip that you could earn extra money is to grubhub uh the grubhub we have earned easily 280 dollars a month is one that we're using the most now we have used instacart we have used uber eats we have used doordash if you're interested of any of those um, it's below but the one i feel like it's really on, on point the tips are really good is grubhub we have received in a week if you guys do it twice a week just for two hours each day just twice a week i'm telling you you guys could get about 280 dollars at least for us we have received 25 dollars in one day and we only work for one hour another time constantly for two hours 40 44 50 dollars for one day so if you are only doing it for two times a week for two hours we have easily gotten 280 dollars and the last one that we really are consistent on is amazon flex that's another one that we enjoy we do every week every weekend we only do it two times a week uh once there's jobs available it hasn't failed it doesn't fail every week we get it uh if we can we try to include an extra day there but we normally do it just the weekends just one job you know on saturday one on sunday and that one just for doing two jobs we, we usually get 432 dollars so just on side hustles alone or earn extra cash and all these tips that i mentioned um has helped us reach our goal of 2500 for the emergency fund in just two months so you guys work on your pace everybody is different we all have different schedules but these are tips that you guys could implement and add it to your routine and work your way there i'm not saying that amazon flex is in every city or in every state that is not the case it took a little bit before it was added into florida but once i heard about it i'm like i told my husband and we have been consistent with that uh, grubhub is one that you could find uh, doordash instacart are ones that we tried if we if grubhub is a little bit low we use instacart and we set our schedule so now we do doordash and you'll find the one that's going to be more available in your area the same thing with mystery shopper i gave different apps or different companies because maybe one of those might be more uh, consistent in your area and it wasn't in my area but at least you know about it oh, guys i try not to make this video too long but i really wanted to be detail on on those four tips that it has really helped us and if you want to see more i'm going to include more of the details in my website so the link is going to be provided below and all of that information uh is going to be provided there too so guys i hope that they were helpful i hope this helped you create that emergency fund or maybe it's going to help you um find your way to reach the expense saved uh as an emergency as well or maybe for something you needed that exactly amount i hope that this is helpful so if you guys want to know more about the baby steps or how we did other stuff too just let me know on the comment section so thank you guys for watching this video and until the next video bye